Hi everyone, Kristen here, and today I'm going to show you how to add a typewriter effect to your text directly in Premiere Pro. The good thing is, is that Premiere Pro just came out with um, what they are calling the Essential Graphics panel, and we also have a new tool called the Type Tool. Um, both of these can be used to create um, any kind of effect and animation, and it's making animation directly in Premiere Pro a lot more obtainable and so much easier to do. Um, so to start, I'm gonna show you a couple samples of the typewriter effect. One is with showing just letter by letter, and then the second is uh, word by word. There you have it. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and close those and make them disappear. And we are going to go ahead and just take the type tool and we're gonna go up here to window and a central graphics. And go over to edit. And this is blank right now, but as soon as we hit our type tool onto the movie file, or the program workspace, then it's going to pop up a lot of um, different options for us to use. So the type tool, you're just going to click anywhere on the movie where you want your text to show up. And uh, you'll notice that there's alignment, there's different styles. Um, I'm just using a basic American typewriter font. Um, I've set my fill to black so that you can see it on this particular movie file, but you can set it to white or basically any color that you want. But um, go ahead and make sure that your color is picked before you start animating. That way you don't have to go back and um, change it up later and it gets a little bit messy. Okay, so pick your color, pick your size. Um, I kind of picked one that's a little, I just kind of did the default. Um, if you need to change the um, the, the weight, go ahead and do that, whatever you need, just, uh, do pick out all of your text and font choices first, and then that way you don't have to go back and redo it. Okay. So once that's picked out, um, we're going to kind of hide this a little bit and we're going to go over here to the effect controls. Now you'll see that you've got the same choices over here as you did in the essential graphics panel and they should be the same so it's just the same um, options now in order to start doing your animation if we're doing letter by letter you're gonna click in here into the box that you've got on the movie file already started and you're gonna just enter your first letter and then we're going to toggle the animation on so what this should do is add a keyframe right at the very beginning and this is going to show your T on that keyframe. Then you're going to move the bar over and you're going to go and click back over to the text box and add in a second letter. And what should happen is another keyframe should show up. You're going to do this again. So, so move it over and then go back over to your text box and add in another letter and again check to make sure that animation ha gets a keyframe. Move it over. You can also do this with spaces. So if you click over here and you add a space, an anima a, a keyframe should show up. Okay, so that should be it. You should have a keyframe for every letter that you've put down there. So basically, if you move this back, they should go on and off. Now, depending on how long you need the text to be on the screen, you can pull this um, little layer. It's all one element and graphic um, entity. So you can pull it out and it'll kind of show up and stay on the screen as long as you need it to. Um, if you want them to be show a little bit spaced out so that one it goes on really quickly so what we're going to go do up here is we're going to make this a little bigger and we're going to just kind of move the keyframes out 
it kind of acts more like a typewriter and somebody's actually typing it. You can even make um, a few come in right at the beginning, a little bit closer together, and then have a few spaced out. However you want to space it, then you can do that. And what that'll do Perfect. Okay. So that's how you do letter by letter. If you are going to do word by word, um, you would pretty much do the exact same thing. Um, you go down here on the text and, but instead of doing just one letter by letter, you're going to do one word. Make sure you click that source text and toggle the animation on so that keyframe comes up. And then you come over here and then you can do a, oops, before you do your space, you move it over so that a space adds in that keyframe. And then add another. Then let's do one more word and it adds a keyframe. And let, oops, before you do a space, then do a space. Move over. Goes, should go one, two, three. Now, if you see that little jitter, what's happening is that you need to render your video. So don't forget to go up to sequence render and and there's the simple text, letter by letter, and then word by word. Perfect. So that should be it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to help you out as much as I can. And thanks for watching.